Well, good morning, everybody. This is uh, Arbor Mill 47 from Dallas, Texas, uh, making this video March the 2nd at uh, 2012. Uh, the time is 9.29 a.m. Central Standard Time. Here's a quick look at the uh, current map. Uh, this would have been the forecast map issued this morning uh, by the uh, Hydrometeorological Pr Prediction Center. Let me say that fast five times. Anyway, this is going to be the area of concern, quite a large area of concern today, uh, and uh, it's it, this is going to be a notable day in weather, I'm sure. Uh, looking at the map, you can tell that there's a lots of cold air back behind this front. We've got snow, freezing rain happening up here over the lakes, Great Lakes area, and then here's the severe storm as possible because we've got warm, humid air as this warm front backs up and where this warm front winds up is probably going to be where we're going to see some of the uh, strongest tornadoes uh, along the warm front because um, winds tend to begin to twist more uh, when they've got a boundary in the area to interact with so again today is going to be a time to look mainly in this area for the potential for severe weather and stuff Here's a look at the upper level winds. Uh, this is the uh, the jet stream level. Um, again, very strong winds coming again down and around, and these are 130 knot plus winds. That's that's some strong, strong jet stream winds uh, moving into the area, and usually right on the nose of that is where you find your severest weather, because we tend to see areas begin to separate and that separation area is going to be where you see tornadoes uh, and severe weather form so again 300 millibar this is a jet stream level map showing very strong trough here across the uh, western United States but pumping up this area here in the east water vapor satellite shows again the storm system just perfectly again this is why I like to use water vapor and I know I'll quit harping on that but you can pick out where the strongest jet is and here we go jet stream we're talking about the 130 knot winds moving along in here here's the upper storm itself we're getting a low level low a surface low beginning to develop out of head of this too um, at some point the upper level low and the low the surface low may uh, be close enough to become stacked which is not a good thing uh, that just intensifies the low pressure area and just adds that much more twisting to the winds the winds are going to be unreal today um, up in the upper atmosphere and when those winds translate down to the surface and the storm when they're drug down with the thunderstorm or a supercell thunderstorm tornadoes are in the offing for sure here's the day one convective outlook and um, what I had thought might happen they did do last night or this morning and that was at a high risk of severe weather that's the highest risk possible on our scale uh, issued by the storm prediction center uh, there's going to be some very fast moving long tracked and large tornadoes in this area right now it looks like uh, the bullseye so far is uh, northern um, let's see this would be northern Tennessee into Kentucky and then kind of just just areas even just around that then we have the moderate risk remember we just had a moderate risk the other day when we had the uh, the big severe storms in this area so you up it to a high risk and things get can really get worse so again I, I can't stress enough to people to be aware alert uh, the severe weather will probably begin a little after or around lunchtime and then kind of mush through the evening for lack of better words um, again expect to see some weather news coming out of this area today it's going to be a very very intense severe thunderstorm day um, just wanted to, to take give you a quick note 
In fact, well, I'm going to do, hang on just a second. Okay, well, I'll just put it back on the, this page, just kind of giving you a, an outline of, again, where to expect to see the heaviest of the thunderstorms. And then again, we have the moderate risk of severe thunderstorms right in this area. So be very careful, people. Uh, some interesting uh, uh, tornado data from the day before yesterday's tornado, the one that went through Harrodsburg and Ridgeway in Illinois. Um, it was confirmed to be an EF4. The tornado itself uh, actually killed six people. Uh, it went, it was on the ground for about an hour and it let's see let me read here because I was reading how far it had gone it had peak winds of 180 miles an hour its track length this is what got me okay this tornado moved 26 and a half miles so it was on the ground for 26 and a half miles more or less so again that was the other day, an EF4 tornado, and we didn't ha have a high risk prediction out there. We only had a moderate risk. So, I can just tell you, again, weather radio, weather radio, weather radio, and use your eyes and common sense and know your safety plans. All right, that's it for now. I will uh, keep you updated throughout the day if uh, something, uh, when something begins to pop up. Anyway, again, this is our remote 47 from Dallas, Texas. Uh, Y'all have a good one.